Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. I sure hope you all had an absolutely wonderful and blessed Christmas. I know I did. Very, very relaxing. Anyway, today I'm going to start on the metal siding on the interior of the exterior walls of the barn. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Go ahead, go around to your doggy door. You can do it. Stella, come here. Come here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hello, goofball. You're supposed to use your doggy door. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm doing here is watching a guy on one of my YouTube channels that I follow. He does metal buildings and he shows how to trim out around windows and doors. It just looks absolutely flawless. I was amazed at how he did it, how easy it looked. And then, of course, now I'm here attempting to do it. And I ended up going through three 10 foot sticks of this J channel before I finally got it somewhat right. So. Again, if you're just here to watch for the entertainment, perfect. If you're here to learn, look in the link below and go to his channel to actually learn. He does great. I also, I just opted to bend this rather than cut it. It made it come out a little bit uh, more finished. When you bend it back and forth like that, it, it actually causes, as you saw, the metal to break. Um, yeah, on a couple of my tries, I tried cutting it. It didn't look very good. So, again, if you're here just for the entertainment factor, perfect. If you want to really learn how to cut this, go to his link that is in the description down below the video. Okay, so now this is the bottom tab. I measured the window's width. And this little tab where I'm trying to bend this up to like bend it and break it like I did, yeah, wasn't happening with my thumb. So I got out my electrician pliers and eventually was able to flex it back and forth, back and forth where it breaks off nicely. Gives a nice smooth edge to it. It's not all curved. Here I'm actually moving on to doing the sides. Now, in his instruction video, he has you What's the matter, Stella? cut it about an eighth of an inch too long. And I'll be showing you this little trick coming up. But again, if you, if you want to have a professional teach you how to do this, go to his link, which will be down below. And I am not sponsored by him. He doesn't need my help. He is followed by like hundreds of thousands of people. But as you can see, so now I'm cutting my 45s and I'll just kind of let the video speak for itself. This one is perfect, leaving that there. And you'll see why in a second. I messed up. This is my first window. This one's going to be kind of monkeyed up, I think. I may have to just recut that. Uh, yeah, I had to recut it. <laughs> <laughs> But as you'll see how I cut that diagonal, I cut it in about an eighth of an inch. And in just a second, you'll see how that comes into play. It's really a very cool trick. Definitely put your caulk up around there. That way, should any water blow in behind, it's going to keep it from wicking in. It'll kind of just give it the seal where it kind of pops back out. And then you just go ahead and attach it. Now I use flat pan, hand, pan head self-tapping screws on all the windows, all the trim, obviously the metal studs that are behind it. And then this is just how it fits in there. So the little tab that you broke off at the beginning is out of the way. The tab on this one just slides right up underneath there. And then where you cut this 45 on it, but you left that, like that little eighth of an inch, that's where it's hanging down. Now when you go across there and you trim that, it crimps it down on and just makes it like a seamless setup. It really is cool. I mean, I 
studied and studied and studied thought I was prepared yeah this took me like I said quite a learning curve and it took me quite a bit longer to do it than what I thought it was going to take It is pretty amazing. Like I said, you take your tin snips, get it up on there, do your cut. It just cinches that corner down together and just gives it a beautiful finished look. came out pretty good not bad for the first try <laughs> like I said three pieces of 10 foot J channel now here we are the next day and I'm actually starting on the uh, metal siding that is going to go on here I started out using this grinder with the cutoff wheel to cut this then I ended up going to Harbor Freight bought a couple of uh, shears and nibblers that are air operated but because my compressor is only a two gallon tank it wasn't big enough to work properly it'd start out and then it would just run out of air and it would stop so I actually ended up just staying with the cutoff wheel through this whole setup Harbor Freight 1995 get your 20% off coupon they have these wheels on sale all the time and if you're part of the inside club and no I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight but I just love their discounted products that they sell but those cutoff wheels do work pretty good especially when you learn how to work with them instead of um, against them I guess it's the difference between starting out being apprehensive and then feeling a little bit more confident about what I was doing And again, this is the first metal panel that I cut. So I was definitely working against myself. It's definitely a finesse. And the air tools, I'm thinking I'm going to probably go back and maybe buy a bigger compressor. my girl what you doing you're my good girl you're my good girl is you my good girl yes you are
Now something else that I did, I didn't care for the inside corner uh, molding or metal pieces that I bought. They were so big. So I decided I was going to try to basically cope this in like you do when you're putting molding up at your house. So started out here by doing a simple flat cut, cutting it off. What I'm doing is trying to get these raised ribs to line up with the ribs outside of the barn. So it kind of all flows when you're just looking at it at a glance. And this is just me coping these back so they'll fit over the other ridges on the previous piece of siding that I hung. I didn't really think this out. This was a lot of extra work, but I think it's going to look pretty good. A simple bead of caulk right up that corner when I'm done and it'll look almost seamless. lines up pretty good. I was so tickled at the end of the day that everything finally came together like it did. I want to thank you all for stopping by. Have an absolutely wonderful and blessed day. Happy New Year to you all. Stay safe and I will see you next time on How I Did It.